Hey, what's up, guys? It's Darkroom Duels, and today we're going to be uncovering some hidden treasure inside the Secret Slayers booster box. So I'm super excited for this one because this booster box has three really unique archetypes that I want to build all three of them, which you guys have been requesting like crazy on the channel. Everything from the Golden Lord archetype, Golden Lord, Golden Lands, El Dorado archetype, whatever you want to call it, Emancipators, and Rika, which was previously snowdrops in the OCG, but I'm super excited for this one because we're going to be opening up one box in this video, we're going to open up two in the next video, and we're going to probably open up one in the next video, but we're going to be opening up four on the channel, and these are going to be dropping every single day as we start recording them, which is going to be a lot of fun for you guys to be able to watch these because I know a lot of people are anticipating these archetypes. So without further ado guys, let's get straight on this, but before we do, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell on there so you can come for our notification squad, and definitely check out the Patreon down in the description because we have some really cool rewards for you guys if you do want to become a patron, like getting a signed card sent to you getting your name in every description of every single video that we post, or even getting a deck profile of your choice and request every single month that you be our patron of that tier. So let's get started on this, guys. We're just going to be opening up one, and we're going to see what we can get. So we're going to pop this box open. Let me get these off to the side. This is a struck. This is a de this is a booster box that I was really excited for um, for a while because the Emancipators were in it, and then I kind of got attached because I developed a nickname for the Golden Lord, which is actually the Golden Gucci Lord because you can't be that gold and not be Gucci. Um, and he is such a cool boss monster if you actually read his effect. I, this is like one set that kind of like it released, and I saw the cards or I saw like the monsters for it, and I was like. Yeah, that's okay. That's all right. In the OCG. But then when it came to the TCG, and I was like, oh, those are pretty as secrets and ultras and everything. And I was like, yeah, I'm buying that. So we're going to slide this right over here, and we're going to start popping open some packs. So let's hope that the uh, Winged Dragon of Ra, Obelisk, and Slifer are good to us today, and we can pull something good. So first off, we're going to be opening up with a Rock Bombard. We got Erica the Rika Fairy. We've got a uh, Chir Chirubi, I don't know, Princess of Autumn Lees. Quackamere Overload, I'm really excited they actually did reprints of these because that's really cool that they're hollow now. And then we got a Guardian of Golden Lands, which is our first secret rare that we have in the set. Maybe that's a good sign for us. To be honest, with these sets, as you guys know, I build every single deck. So I'm not really worried about what I pull because I'm going to build everything in here anyway. So we got another Rock Bombard, Upstar Goblin, that's actually kind of a pricey card in here. We got the Rika Queen which is pretty cool. Trap Trick is a good reprint in here. And then we got, oh, we got Dragonite, Dragonite. Oh, there we go. Oh, we're starting good. We're starting really good. Um, so we're going to start getting some more of these. I'm super excited for this. This is going to be fun because we have a lot of archetypes in here. I'm getting some sleeves really quick, guys. I should have had those before I started, but we're going to have them now. And we're going to start sleeving up the really good ones that we get. So I am going to sleeve up this one because that's a really good card to pull. I mean, it's probably like a dollar or two. It's not the other one, but it's still pretty cool. So I'm hoping to get like a playset of Trap Trick and Solemn Judgment in every box, but I don't know. Okay, let's see what we can get in this next one. This next one's I'm, I'm probably going to be the reason I need sleeves. But uh, Hellbore, the Rika Fairy. We got, this is a Rika pack. Uh, Simella, the Rika Fairy. Galaxy Cyclone, which is kind of a weird reprint to me, but I needed one, I guess. Another Rock Bombard, where we found the easiest card to pull. And we got Emancipator Seeker. Or Seeker. This one's really good because he basically is like one of the starters of the deck. I'm really excited to build those because that's just a really overall fun, good deck. That's the one that I want to build out of them all is the Emancipators, but the um, Golden Lord or El Dorado archetype is another one that I'm really interested in. So we got Tatalia, or Tatalia, the Princess of Camellias, Pyramid of Wonders. It's been a minute since I saw that card. Uh, Emancipator Resonate, I believe. We got uh, Princess of Sunflowers, and then we got Rika Sheet. That's not one of the short prints. We're going to get one of the short prints. Come on. I mean, I, I, watched, I watched Team Samurai open up like a whole bunch of these in like a four hour stream so i know that it's not super hard to get you know a short print at least one or two in the set so we got princess of sunflowers rico tranquility another trap trick that's two trap tricks we've gotten so far we got hellbore the rika fairy and then we pulled there's a short print there's a short print right there we got leonite right there leonite is about a 13 dollar card when i started recording this video i think it might have jumped to 16 but that is a definite short print so maybe this is a Bo booster box with those with the emancipators i god i want to build those so bad you guys know i love synchro so you know that's that's kind of a given that that was coming so we got erica rika fairy quackamera overload 
Princess of Autumn Leaves, and we got one of the first crystals. I can't believe we actually got one of the crystals. That's pretty cool. And then we got, oh, that, that's another short print. Oh, that's uh, uh, Glamour. Glamour is a short print, too. That's like an $8 card. Cool. Glamour is a short print. Cool. Okay. So that's nice. Okay, let's get into the next one. I know that there's like two short print supers, I think. Polynosis, that's a good one. Tranquility. Judgment, there's my boy. Uh, uh, DD Borderline. And then we got, Anna. oh my god, every time I flip it, I think it's going to be the Golden Gucci Lord. I don't even like really care, but I want the Golden Gucci Lord. Like he's such an interesting card and he's so expensive for no reason. Unizombie. Okay, Unizombie is a good one. Miracle Fertilizer. Doki Doki Man. We got Doki Doki. Another trap trick. And then we got uh, Mudan, Mudan the Rika Fairy, which is pretty cool too. I'm going to put all my secrets up there so you guys can see as we go. I think that's the third trap trick. I think that was the third one. Okay, that's the first one of those, the Drag Knight uh, Crystal, but I'm sure with four boxes I'm going to pull plenty of them. Um, Galaxy Cyclone, Quackamara Sandman, Block Dragon, and uh, Conquistador of the Golden Lands. See, you thought I was going to mispronounce that, but I didn't this time because I did my research. <laughs> gotcha. Okay, let's keep going. So we got Lone Fire Blossom. That's the first Lone Fire we got. Uh, Polynosis, Emancipator Resonate, DD Borderline, and... Elixir White Destiny. I know the black one is a short print, and the main boss monster is a short print. El Blood. I wanted to build a deck around him, but I never could. Uh, I mean, you can with like Super Vice and stuff like that. But uh, to tell you, Princess of Cherry Blossoms, Cursed El Lance. I think I want to say this is a short print super, but I don't know. Quackamere Guardian and uh, Rika Flurry. The Rigas are so pretty. Like, they're really pretty. Like, I love the, how they made them, the majority of them secret rare. Because the just the artwork is nice. So we got Ninetale Fox, Emancipator Signs, Pyramid of Wonder, Quackamere Sandman, and Eldelixir Scarlet uh, Sangria. San, I'm going to say Sangria. Whatever. That's probably not what it is, but it's the Eldelixir Scarlet. Okay, next one. We got Hellbore, we got another Hellbore, Rika Fairy, Quackamere Wall, uh, Rika Fairy again, uh, and we got Galaxy Cyclone, and then we got, uh, we haven't got her, uh, Primula the Rika Fairy. Okay, we have not got her yet. So we've gotten two short prints so far, which is pretty good. They're kind of the lower end short prints, but that's not bad. We got Rose Lover, Rock Bombard. Okay, now we have every single one of the Synchros, which you only need one of, which is good. Um, we got Talia, Princess of Cherry Blossoms, and then we got Rika Sheet. Okay. So we have quite a few more packs to go through. Let's see. Uh, Emancipator Crystal, we got the green one, Unizombie, Miracle Fertilizer, Doki Doki, and we got Eldorado, we got the Eldorado, uh, trap card. Nobody really uses that, and I don't know why, because it, like, halves your opponent's life points, which is crazy. Like, I feel like it's a good one of in the deck, but it's a little situational. Upstart Goblin again. Uh, Princess of Camellias, El Blood, Rika Fairy, and we got the Golden Lands, the zombie guy, which is pretty good. Is that two of him? No, that's the first one we pulled of him. Yeah, we got Conquist. Yeah, we got all the trap monsters now. We got another trap trick, which is good. Lone Fire, Polynosis, Emancipator Resonate, and we got oh, we got Muda the Rika Fairy. Okay, so we got like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven packs left. Come on. Give me something good. Give me something good. Okay. We got another Drag Knight, which is good. That's really good. <clears throat> Cyclone. Miracle Fertilizer. The Rika Fairy. And we got... Oh, we did get another Drag Knight. Okay. Uh, that's all right. I'll take another Drag Knight. I love this artwork. Like, Drag Knight, this one, is the entire reason I want to build the decks because of this Synchro Monster. Like, I absolutely love that artwork. I just think it's gorgeous. Okay. DD Borderline. Ninetail Fox, Emancipator Sign, Pyramid of Wonder, and Rika Sheet. That is the third Rika Sheet that we pulled in this set. So I guess that that's a kind of a not short print. Um, Autumn Leaves, we got Overload, Golden Land Forever, which is the first one we pulled of that. Emancipator Resonate, and we got another Seeker. That's not bad. Sandman, Lover, 
Rock Bombard. Got a lot of Rock Bombards. We got another one of these. And we got Emancipator Relief. I don't think we pulled, we have not pulled Relief yet. So we got three packs left to go. Quagamere Wall. Uh, Rika Queen, the XYZ. Lone Fire. Leonite. And Conquistador. Two packs left, guys. Come on. Come on. We gotta get something good. We gotta get something real good. Uh, Princess of Cherry Blossoms. Sunflowers. Rika uh, Tranquility. Trap Trick. And Golden Lands. The Guardian of Golden Lands. Last pack, as Simply Unlucky says, of Destiny. This is one time I'm gonna call it. It's the Golden Gucci Lord. Okay, so here we go. Sol Unizombie. I said Solemn Judgment, but it's not. Uh, Unizombie, Guardian, Doki Doki Man. Oh, I revealed it. Oh, Judgment. Hey. And we got the Elixir. We got the last Elixir. So we did pull two short prints in the box. Wasn't the craziest box that we've ever gotten. Um, wasn't bad. Wasn't bad at all. We didn't get Emancipator. Um, I don't remember her name. Researcher, I think is her name. We didn't get Researcher, and we didn't get Golden Gucci Lord. But... We'll get him in the next box, I guarantee you. So, anyways, guys, this is Dark Rome Duels. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you think of this box down in the comments down below. Tell me what your favorite archetype is from this deck or from this structure uh, box, I guess. I don't know. Booster box. Because it's not really like a booster box, I guess. I don't know. It's it's kind of like a booster box, but it's kind of like an all-foil hidden arsenal-ish set. But it's a deck builder set. I guess it would be a deck builder set. But tell me which one you like the best out of them. I think I probably like... Out of all of them, I probably like this one. I probably like the Emancipators out of them all. I think that that, car, that structure, or these these are just gorgeous. I love the artwork of them. That's going to be definitely the deck that I'm going to be playing out of this set. So anyways, guys, this is Dark Room Duels. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell on there so you can come part of the notification squad. And we'll see you guys in the next video. And don't forget to check out the Patreon down in the description, guys, so you guys can become patrons and get all those really cool rewards. See you later, guys.